So times are changing. The era of needing to go on the internet to buy beats and instrumentals, go to a studio to record, pay for mixing and mastering, and wait weeks to get your songs back is finally over. In this video, I am going to unleash the most powerful information in the music industry that no one wants you to know about. The reason that this information is secret is because it's going to end music production for music producers for good. So I'm gonna show you how you can produce your own music and save thousands of fucking dollars over the course of the rest of your music career. So if that sounds like you, then stay to the end because I'm gonna show you how you can become the producer of your own music in just 90 days. All of my clients came into working with me with no prior music production experience. And in 90 days, they're able to make their own beats, record their own vocals, mix and master all in the comfort of their own home without needing a music producer for the rest of their career. This is the information that is secret and has a lot of barriers to entry to understand. And it's not only going to change your career forever, but it's going to change the entire music industry. So if you've got a full-time job and you don't have time to go sifting through YouTube videos to learn how to make music, and if you're spending close to $1,000 per song and you know that you're capable to do it yourself, then let's jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how you're gonna be able to produce your own music in just 90 days. This is how to become your own music producer in 90 days without needing music theory, expensive equipment, and without taking years to learn. First step, obviously, is rapid fire beat making. This is how to make instrumentals in just 30 minutes a day that are so dope, you question your entire existence because you realize how much money you wasted on beats in the past. Fair warning, you will become addicted to making beats and may need to check yourself into an addiction recovery center soon after joining the program. But Rather than just tell you, let me show you exactly how easy this is. So I'm just gonna drag this in here. Watch what happens. Essentially, I was dragging and dropping sounds from a tool that I'm going to show you in a sec called Splice, made the drums, recorded. Everything was right then and there, made right in front of you. So if you want to check it out, you can go on my YouTube channel and go do that. Now, I'm going to show you some examples of folks that not just, you know, it's not just me who's doing this stuff, but it's also people in my program. So in August, I actually had a beat making contest, super simple rules. Whoever makes the most beats in August, I'm going to give you $200 that you can get a piece of music hardware or software. Ryan B made 10, Ange made 26, and my boy Cameron Penman, aka C Penny, ended up making 36 beats. Honorable mention was Austin B making seven beats in his first two songs in just his first five weeks of the program. All of these people had basically no prior music production experience. Ryan B was spending over a thousand bucks a song. He has a full-time job and a full-time career. He wanted to be able to make music without needing to spend tons of time learning it. And used to take over three months to make a song. Cameron was buying beats and spending hundreds of dollars on beat stars. Now, none of these folks have to waste any time or money with working with a music producer because they can just do it all themselves. Jaden, he just started in the program over three weeks in the program, made five beats so far, and I'm recording a song. I've written to the first one already, plus I can start and finish a beat in the same day. Pretty fucking crazy, pretty incredible. Austin B, in my fourth week of the Rapid Fire Academy, I have four beats and two songs, one of which written recorded. Um, really, really incredible what these guys have been able to do. My boy, Anthony Pacheco. What up, everyone? So it took some time only because I was on a trip for a, a long time. He was out in Puerto Rico for a month. But I finally made my first beat. I have to say I'm super proud and feel very liberated. Shout out to Lizzy for truly showing me the way I feel super free and I'm excited for my independent journey. Super confident. It shot up. I'm steadily on the path to never buying a beat again. Super happy to be a part of the community and proud of everyone who's working on becoming a better artist, producer, business person, all of that. Amazing. Ryan B. Yo, wanted to post this win. Prior to starting the program six weeks ago, I'd never actually made a beat front to back. In the last six weeks, I've made over 14 beats and cooking up new ones almost on a daily basis. I got that giddy being 13, falling in love with hip hop vibe going on. Here's the beats and he had dropped them in the Slack channel. Here's what the two required tools, tools are. It's really simple and you can go look both of these up and maybe get started with them today. They're only 10 bucks. Splice $10 a month, Arcade $10 a month. Splice is essentially a huge library with hundreds of thousands of loops, samples, 
um, and drums that you can actually get from really famous producers, and they're in every genre, rap, hip-hop, R&B, pop, singer-songwriter, um, rock and roll, EDM, it's all different types of genres. So Splice is incredible, you don't need to know music theory, it's not that expensive, 10 bucks a month. And then you've got Arcade, which is essentially similar to Splice, but it's customizable samples that you can customize by key and BPM. You can even combine Splice and Arcade. Take a Splice sample, throw it into Arcade, and Arcade chops it up for you. So when it comes to making beats and instrumentals, you don't need to know how to play an instrument or need to know music theory. You can actually just use both of these tools and get them all done. So if you wanted to, you go look both of these up right now. I also have some uh, tutorials on my YouTube channel. You can check those out. Okay, so we've got our beat. Now we need to record. So next step is rapid fire vocal recording. How to guarantee you get professional radio ready vocals recorded even if you're recording in your living room with a hundred dollar mic from Amazon. I showed you this picture to show you the fucking proof. I have a hundred dollar mic from Amazon. I'm in my fucking living room doing this shit. That's why I want to show you this is a silly ass screenshot from a video I did. Wanted to show you that it's true and not that just that it's true, but you can get great results. Both of these are songs that I have fully produced and recorded here in my living room. Watch me, fully produced by me, over 100,000 views. Necesito que regreses, fully produced by me, 20K streams on Spotify. Here are some other results in terms of what we've been able to do in the community. So August, we did beat making contest, September, songwriting contest, and the winner was Ryan B. Ryan B ended up writing and recording four full songs, and yes, he also made the beats to them. Pretty fucking crazy. He won 300 bucks. I sent it over his way. He can get any piece of music hardware or software. And uh, now Ryan B is off in Bali with his girlfriend, enjoying a little vacation after working super hard these past three months here in the academy. Also, another thing from Ryan B, this is him saying it. Hey, I've been writing a lot this month. Was able to record four tracks. Um, these have some light mixing on them, some EQ and panning, but they're still fairly rough. Would love to have some feedback and critiques. He's just going fucking crazy. Next, I really wanted to show you, this is my boy Carlos. I fucking love Carlos. I love everyone in the program, obviously, but Carlos in particular, he's incredible because he had actually never even written a song before. He, he told me that his music experience before joining the program was singing in the car in the shower. So, hey guys, I've been in rapid fire for about a month and a half. Before joining, I had never made a single song or beat. So this is my first beat and made my first song, uh, my first written song. I've made five beats now and I'm about to start writing to all those as well. So what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna hop into our Slack community and I wanna show you a preview of this song cause it's a fucking vibe. When I think about you can't help but get in my feelings Falling out of love is hard Left my heart sore up and scarred But since you left I've been chasing this feeling again So as you can see, the song's a fucking vibe. This is one of my other clients, Jaden. Hey everyone, my first song is in the course. It's called Must Be Love. All comments and suggestions are welcome. Another one of my clients, Devin. Yo everyone, this is a song I wrote this month. I do acoustic vibe stuff. Utilize what I've learned from Rapid Throw through this process. Um, this shot, this shot not near done. I guess you meant to say song, um, but it's a song that means a lot to me from the heart. I'll actually play this one for you guys as well. Hanging out in the jet stream. It's so hard to breathe. Rockets flying over me. Don't know what they mean. So you can see that here in the Rapid Fire Music Academy, you don't need to be a rapper or hip hop artist. We've got artists like Devin, who was actually spending over $1,000 per song on his music. He's got a full-time job, full-time career. He has a uh, three-year-old and him and his fiance are getting engaged soon. So he's got a full job and a full personal life and he's still able to get this stuff done. So I wanna show you an example actually with a song that I'm working on called Summit, even though I've showed you all those client examples. I do wanna show you this song as well, showing you the difference between what it sounds like when you record regular vocals and what it sounds like when you have the rapid fire recording stack. So now we're here in one of my live recording sessions for my song called Summit. I wanna show you the difference when we turn off the rapid fire recording stack. I'm gonna show you the vocal soloed out. Summit, run it, see it, done it, abun it, want it journey i love it not bad but let's turn on the vocal recording stack summit run it see it done it 
abundant, 100 journey. I love it. Way better. Let's hear it on the vocal, on the verse as well. I'm at the place that I didn't expect, but I know I would get, get. Fuck it if you don't like me. I'm going to do my thing. I don't need your respect. I'm at the place that I didn't expect, but I know I would get, get. Fuck it if you don't like me. I'm going to do my thing. I don't need your respect. So through this process of recording your vocals separately from the actual session where you made the beat and putting a little bit of touch up on it, this is how we're able to achieve extremely high quality professional vocals. All right, so we've got our beat, we've recorded our vocals, and now it's time for the rapid fire mixing process. This is how to mix your music just like the pros in just 90 minutes without needing expensive equipment or years of experience. I show you this picture, again, it's in my fucking living room, because what kind of expensive equipment do I have? I have some speakers, but TBH, I don't even fucking use those things. I usually just use my headphones. So again, we're going to bring up Ryan B. He's just my fucking one of my star clients. This is how Ryan went from spending thousands of dollars on producers to finishing 30 beats and his first self-produced song in less than three months. Yo, Rapid Fire Squad, been a little quiet, but that doesn't mean I haven't been working. Life's in full swing. Haven't created as much as I would like to, but still in the month of August, I've made 10 more beats, some more finished than others as well as I got my song eyes closed to a pretty good spot mix wise still need mastering but I'm just remembering prior to starting the program nine weeks ago I'd never actually made a beat or mixed any of my own songs so this has been super dope right so that's so mixing can be a really really tough process but through the rapid fire mixing process and through the whole academy you can clearly see that it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward to go from not knowing how to even make a beat and have a blank session to having your songs fully mixed and last but not least once we have our song fully mixed this is us getting into the rapid fire mastering how to have your song banging in every type of speaker system from the iphone car speakers and even live on stage in less than 20 minutes uh my first ever client Ange, first client that ever landed in the academy me and her are still working together this is how Ange went from finishing a song every three months to finishing a new song every single month it's through this process and what happened was she actually started two songs from scratch wrote the uh made the beats wrote the lyrics recorded the vocals mixed and mastered two songs in eight weeks pretty freaking cool after that she said hey lee i actually want to start producing and i want to start a production business rather than just being an artist i said cool let's do this she joined my rapid fire production sales accelerator and ended up closing seven production clients in 30 days pretty fucking crazy so that goes beyond um just the mastering stuff as well but wanted to show you that again i want to show you an example um with my new song called Summit, I want to show you the difference between what it sounds mixed and what it sounds mastered. So let's do that. All right. So first thing is I'm going to play you a snippet of just the mix. Summit, run it, see it, done it, abundant, 100, journey, I love it. Summit, run it, see it, done it, abundant, 100, journey, I love it. Climb to the top, no way I'm stopping not bad but now let's hear it mastered summit run it see it done it abundant 100 journey i love it summit run it see it done it abundant 100 journey i love it time to the top no way i'm stopping no more pop no other options time to the top no way i'm stopping no more pop so you can clearly see that with the rapid fire mastering technique, you're able to master songs just like the pros super fast. So in conclusion, if you watch this video and feel excited, then you should be. You just started learning how you can start producing your own music, even if you got a full-time job and other personal responsibilities. But we've only scratched the surface. And of course, in just the course of this one video, I would not be able to show you exactly every single thing you would need. And in fact, even trying to do it through just YouTube videos wouldn't be enough. So here's what I want to tell you about how this program Rapid Fire Music Academy works. Obviously, it's the program I've kind of been touching about uh, in, the, in this video. So here's what you get guaranteed. Number one, you're going to have at least one song fully produced, mixed and mastered and engineered by you that you're excited to release. And number two, you'll have the skills you need to never have to buy beats, hire out for mixing and mastering or ever have to rely on a producer ever again. And if both of those things are not accomplished in the next 90 days, then I will keep working with you for free until they are. Now, as a free bonus, this is something for people who get started with the program right away. 
I'm including the rapid fire fan base attraction system. You can learn this simple, repeatable, and scalable three-step process to virtually guarantee that every song you put out gets streams and gains fans. So I want to show you this screenshot of one of my clients, Vision, who actually joined the rapid fire fan base attraction system. Yo, wanted to post one of my recent wins in here. Before Lee's guidance, I'd only seen success with merch and CD sales at live shows, but with his help in marketing, I was able to change that. After running ads for about two to three weeks, I built an extensive email list of 20 plus people who've heard my new demo and want updates on new drops. I also pitched my new CD and merchandise to these people, and with many being interested, I just secured my first official sale a few days ago. This has truly been eye-opening for me, and moving forward, I see more sales to come with what Lee has taught me. This is my own personal results of CD sales that I've actually been able to make. It's fucking incredible because I'm literally fucking running ads, getting people inbound leads to actually message me wanting to hear my songs and eventually a percentage of those people buying CDs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just like I said, the need for a producer is officially gone and the world is changing. So if you're interested in enrolling in the Rapid Fire Music Academy, all you gotta do is click below and book a call with me and get ready to get started. Now, if you've already booked a call and this is kind of that in-between process, then I really, really look forward to speaking with you and I'm excited for us to get started working together. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.